Hello guys, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve another interesting JavaScript problem that you can expect in a product based interview. The problem statement reads as we have to create a custom cookie. Cookies are a way to store data on the client side in the browser. So as you can see on the screen here, I have created two cookies. Cookies are the properties that are available on the document object in the browser. And if you see over here, in the first cookie, I have name and then this option or a feature for the cookie that is max H. So what is the validity for this cookie? This cookie will expire after one second. So max H accepts uh, the expiry time in seconds. So here I have passed one. So it, this cookie will expire in one second. On the next line, I have another cookie and here I have the value as blog is equal to learners bucket but there are no uh, features for this so the moment i print the cookie you will see that that this value name equal to prashant and blog equal to learners bucket this will be printed and once again after a delay of 1.5 seconds if i print the cookie so only blog will be printed and this value will be removed because it has already expired it has limited uh, reached its limit so here in the console if i reload you'll see that in the first console log both the values are printed and in the second one because the first cookie expired it has only printed the blog equals to learns bucket so we have to implement the same feature but we have to create our custom cookie rather than using the browser's cookie that is available on the document object we have to create our custom cookie so what we have to do is we have to use our custom cookie let's rename this and then we'll start implementing the feature so as you can see when i run this this property decides the validity of the cookie and then these are the values of the cookie so we have to get the validity we have to decide if the cookie has expired or not and if it has expired we have to remove that value Otherwise, we have to return everything combined when we are calling the cookie. So let's comment this and let's start creating our custom cookie. We'll come back to this and we'll do the test once the implementation is done. So here, let's create a custom function. Use custom cookie. This will create or enable the custom cookie usage so that we can you know use this my cookie property on the document now as you can see because we have to use the my cookie on the document object what we'll do is we'll extend the document object and to extend that what i'm going to use is i'm going to use object dot define property why i'm going to use the method that is available on the object is because that gives me an extra set of you know a feature set that is the get and set so we can use the getter and setter uh, and when the getter and setter is being invoked we can perform different type of operations for example when you are doing this right when you are setting the value the set method is called and it accepts a value as a string and then further we can do the computation and we can process this data and store it according to our need similarly when you are getting the data like this when you are reading the value so this will invoke the get method and while getting the data again we can do the processing and implement our logic to do the computation on what we want to achieve in the implementation so that's why i'm going to use object dot define property and here on the document I want to extend the document. I want to have another property to the document which is my cookie and then we'll have a object. On the object, we'll set a parameter that it is configurable. This is a option that we can provide to make sure that the object can be further configured if required. Then we'll have set. Set as I explained will accept a string value whatever value is assigned to that that we'll use for further computation and then there will be a get so get returns a value it does not accepts anything now 
when you see the example here in the string we can pass either two values or a single value so let's consider the case of two values here the first value represents the value of the cookie with the key value pair and the second value represents the features of the cookie and this is separated by a colon so this colon we have to use the methodology and we have to extract the value from the the value before the colon and we have to extract the feature after the colon and then this can be written as a key value pair and this we can create an feature set from this and both we can store it somewhere so that while retrieving while getting the value we can check if the cookie is expired or not if it is expired we'll delete the entry we no longer have to return this or store this and if it is not expired we'll return it as it is so let's start storing the value to store the value here i'm creating a map it is a global map because this will be accessed by both set and get method that's why i'm creating it globally so let's create a store and then this will be a map i'm using map because we have to store a key value pair key decides the cookie um, so uh, this keys will be used to decide the uniqueness of the cookie so that we can determine which value we have to you know uh, correspondingly check if it has expired or not that's why we are using store to create a key value pair now under the set what we are going to do is we are going to parse the string so this string we have to parse we have to separate it on the colon and we have to get this as a key value pair so this will be name will be key and the prashant will be value and this will be the feature set so we'll create an array of feature set for this uh, problem we just have to handle the max set but uh, we'll create an array so that you can extend it further in case there are another features that are added or uh, there is a follow up question so what we are going to have is we are going to have the key we are going to have the value and then we are going to have the options array and that will be provided to us by the this method that will accept the string and return us the value so let's create this method this will be a helper function that will help us to do the you know uh, passing the string so let go outside this use custom cookie or we can have it inside also so let me create this over here and this will accept the string and then we have to parse it now let me split the string on the semicolon because the first value represents the value so here i am having the value so the first value and then the remaining are the options and this i am doing by splitting the string on semicolon so on the semicolon the string is splitted and it returns us the array of substrings so this part will be a substring and this part will be a substring now from that we have separated the value in a separate variable and then the remaining arrays we have stored it and aggregated it in a, another variable called rest now you can call this rest or you can call this options it's up to you but i am calling this rest because i am going to create a new array over here for the options so options this will be an object and this will hold all the options with the value for example max age now this name value this we have to separate right we have to get this key and this value so let's do that const key and value this we have to extract from the name value so for that i am going to create another function separate key val that is because this separate key val we will use further to extract the options also so here we are having the string that we have to separate for the key val and what we are going to do is we are going to split the string 
on equal to operator because equal to is what uh, you know differentiates the key and the value and after that we'll just remove the spaces if any space is there that's why we are just trimming the spaces and this will return us an array of two values so here rather than destructuring as object i'll destructure is an array and then the first value of the array will represent the key the second value will represent the value now let's get all the options from the rest so here what i'm going to do is let option of rest we are going to iterate each element in the rest currently it will have only one the max edge but we are going to iterate each and then for each we are going to extract the key value using this separate key val method and to this we'll pass the each option and then under the options object we are going to store the key and the object whatever the corresponding value is it so this max edge becomes the key and one becomes the value we have it over here now after that we are going to return that so what we are going to return is key value and then the options so these three things we are going to parse from the each cookie string now if there are no options so this string will just return the key value this options will be an empty object now we got the key we got the value we got the options now we are going to process the options because we have the max edge property from it so let's create expiry time now for each cookie right for each cookie we have to decide the expiry now on certain cookies we'll get the expiry time and on certain cookies we don't so the cookies that don't have the expiry time will have to set a default value for that so for that i'm creating a variable expiry and i'm assigning a default value of infinity to it that means it will never expire i'm creating this as a, a let variable because we'll have to update the expiry value in case the option contains the max age so if options have the max age all we have to do is we have to set the time in milliseconds because max age provides us the time in second but the javascript date object it returns the time in millisecond so rather than converting the date from millisecond to second here i am just converting the max age to millisecond so that it will be easier for me to do the check if the cookie is expired or not so here on the expiry what we are going to do is we are going to take the current time whatever the current time is and then whatever the seconds the uh, cookie is trying to extend it or being alive to and then to that we'll add thousand so this will convert the second to millisecond and the date now date dot now it returns the uh, current time in milliseconds so to that the future time will be added and in that future time this cookie will expire so we have set the expiry now in the map sorry in the store we have created a variable store inside that we are going to set the key we have received the key this will decide the uniqueness of the cookie and on that we will store an object with the value and the expiry time so we have extracted the key the value so we got this name this prashant and then we got this option max age as one and we have set the expiry time in the near future so from the current time when the cookie is being set and after that one second that cookie will expire so we have calculated the future time or the expiry time for the cookie and we are setting it on the store now we have the cookie and we have its expiry time while getting the cookie or while you are fetching it what we are going to do is we are going to just check if the cookie has expired or not so const time what is the current time again we are going to use the date dot now so let's say the cookie was about to expire in one second and you are pulling the value after two seconds so the time this time will ex exceed the expiry time so we just have to do a check for that 
and let's iterate each cookie in the store that we have so here let key and then the value and expiry because we have stored the data in such format right key and then corresponding to that we have a object with the value and expiry key and then we are going to iterate the store so using the for of loop i'm destructuring the key and the value from the store and then i'm further destructuring the value into value and expiry keys and here we'll check if expiry is less than or equal to time so if it has expired or not so if it has expired what we are going to do is from the store we are going to delete the key so here what we have stored is the key and then this key will be deleted from the store otherwise we are, what we are going to do is we are going to create the cookie if it is not deleted that means we have the cookie and we have to display the cookie or return the value so for that i am creating an array over here const cookies because in the store we have multiple cookies right that's why i am creating an array and in that array i am going to push the key value pair that is the key equals to value because we have destructured the key value right the name and the uh, the name key and the value prashant is destructured so we are again forming the value like this here and now we are storing that in the cookie at the end what we are going to do is we are going to return the cookies by joining them as a string on the semicolon so each value will be displayed in a single line separated by semicolon just like you can see in this example right here blog learns bucket then semicolon and then the second value so that's how we are going to do it and i see a space over here so let me add a space as well so semicolon and space will be there and then the next value will be displayed so we got our custom cookie ready now let's scroll down let's uncomment this and then i come back over here let's clear this and let me run this my bad this was not working because this property was directly being assigned to the document and this was happening as we have not invoked our custom function so only after invoking this custom function this property uh, object or defined property will be set right so because it is not invoked this document dot my cookie this is treating it as a property and that's why this is overriding the values so let's invoke the function that we have created and right now if i go back here and i reload you see our functionality works as same so in the initial part we are showing both the values when we print it and after 1.5 second if i invoke the same document dot my cookie only blocks learners bucket is printed because the first cookie has expired its max age was one second i hope you have learned something new if you are preparing for your javascript interview do check out my playlist you can also visit to my blog learns bucket where we i have the complete cheat sheet cheat sheet according to the all interview rounds so you can prepare from there as well thank you for your time